everyone, it's Kathy here from Dobello's Designs and today we're going to be creating a coaster and a bookmark. I bought these coaster blanks from Amazon, I think. And they just click apart, they're acrylic. Let's see if I can get that out without damaging it. There you go. So what you need to do if you buy something similar or if you have something so let's measure the inner measurement so if i put this back in here for example you can see that's where you want to measure not to the edges but to the inner sides to make sure that it fits in and then you put it in together and it just clicks like that and with the bookmark and the coaster it's nice to do something on the back so to not leave it just plain so that's what we're going to do right for this project the coaster my coaster measures nine centimeters square so i had to ask google to translate for me and google says that's approximately two inches by six inches so oh sorry that's the bookmark that's two inches by six inches that is three and a half inches square you can tell i had to check both measurements because i only have a, a centimeter ruler at the moment so for that you're going to need your bookmark you're going to need a piece of card cut to fit those inner dimensions we've got a piece of multifarious card there and this actually you could make from multifarious card i actually purchased a bulk lot from amazon quite a long time ago for convenience um but if you've got a corner cutter you can just cut it two inches by six inches cut the corners and cut a circle and you don't need to to buy it you could make it so that's the materials for that for the backgrounds and for the stamping i'm going to be using elements inks violet chalk bermuda and blue lagoon i'm also going to be using versifying claire for some of the stamping i have three stencil brushes to do the backgrounds I have my blank there for my coaster i have some derwent ink tense pencils that i use to color the bees and the butterflies on the bookmark so because i've used those i've got a fine paintbrush i've got a black pen pencil as i need it black pen a couple of posca pens in purple and green and the stamps that i'm using i've also got a blue uh, like a sky blue fireline pencil so for the stamps i've got lav 444 flutterby lav 132b the next Lavinia one is LAV815 Harmony. I'm going to use some of the words on both the bookmark and the coaster. I'm using some of the Cottontail Capers from Cardio. Cardio Textures, one of the grasses. And Cardio Field Florals, where I'm going to use a, a couple of different flowers from there. I've also got some acrylic block. I have a jug of water for my painting to activate the deep, the um, G intense Derwent intense pencils right let's get started so i'll start with the elements inks mine are actually quite well worn so i don't need to take off much excess and i'm just starting right at the edge and going up to create a very dark bottom edge And because I'm only going in one stroke side, you can slightly see some tiny lines looking like grass. I'm going to do the same for this side. Then we're going to move on to the blue. And I'm going to start on the left and swipe across. So I'm just going across like that. Try and hold your finger on a bit that you're not going to do because otherwise you'll get a finger mark on the side. That's why I've got ink all over my fingers. <laughs> right, holding it there. Move my finger down. That's the 
blue. Oh, I've just got some on me again. Let's give my hands a quick wipe. And now the violet chalk. Just put bit, random bits across the sky. flowers here. I'm going to do those in violet chalk. I'm going to do them in first and second generation. There we go. And I'm going to do them on the other side. that for the back and have this one for the front I think now I'm going to use the blue blue lagoon but I'm going to when I press it I'm going to press it down quite firmly to make it quite bold Bunnies. Plenty of ink. Let it just sit there. And the next one. And they just be sitting in the middle. You can place them wherever you want, you know, wherever you think it would look better. I'm going to have this one sleeping. Oh no, he's standing up. He won't be standing up here. Watching what's going on. And then we have a leaping one. Now I'm going to put the black away. I'm going to use the Bermuda to make some grass on the bottom. And do some grass on this side too. Violet chalk for the butterfly. I'm actually got that out. Word nature. Turn it over. Now I'm not putting any animals or butterflies and things on the back of this, but I'm uh, going to put a word. I'm going to put harmony. I'm just 
just going to use my blue fire liner pen to go around the edges of the butterfly. And that's all for the coaster. I just have to put it in. And remember that this bit with the bits sticking out at the top is the front, so you put it that way. And then you put the bit, those bits in the back and just click in. And you've got a pretty coaster to put your coffee or your glass of wine when you're crafting. Right, now we'll go with a piece of paper and we'll go into the bookmark. As I said, these would be quite easy for you to make yourself. I was just being incredibly lazy at one point and I think they're on a good offer, so I got them. So I'm going to do the same thing here. thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my word nature to make sure that I don't go too high with my brush to fill it on. Bush. Turn over. Oh. Missed that. Let's go over that extremely carefully. Managed to save it. in the green pasca and the blackberries in the purple.
paper. Let's see. There you go. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, I've got to leave that that way around because it's still wet. So that's your bookmark. And that is your coaster. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you haven't already joined our group, Facebook groups, would you consider joining both of our groups? We have Del Bello's Designs Lounge for all products at Lavinia. And we have Del Bello's A La Carte Lounge. And that's for all other products that Patty sells, including cardio stamps and sweet poppy stencils. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.